Hello and welcome back to the Super Heavyweight YouTube channel where in today's episode uh, I would go over the second part of how to put together uh, a fantastic Master League team to uh, try and uh, bring together the best players for your team and of course in the hope that whatever team you choose whether it's a team that's expected to win everything a mid-table team or if you're trying to take a team from uh, a position where they're battling relegation and to try and make them uh, a side that is able to compete so uh, if you look at the previous episode uh, and again i'll set up a playlist um i then went through uh the the same uh, strategy uh, of putting together the players and i've shortlisted 215 possible players that we could possibly purchase now i don't expect everybody to sift through 215 players but what i did do was i thought i'll just quickly show you uh, some of the players that i would actually and i'm going to purchase so the whole purpose of this particular series is to sell every single player and to buy these players and to show you how successful you can be so i'm just going to quickly re read off some names so you've got people like danny inks for example that you could purchase at 83 murio was a player for atalanta uh, again, his market value is 19 million. So, if you wanted to spend a bit more, you've got someone like Milik, Callum Wilson. However, we'll be looking at players such as Alexis Sanchez. Probably start off with maybe attempting to sign Diego Costa, Alex Texera, um, uh, Gabriel Barbosa. So, as you can see, very high, highly rated in terms of their overall rating. But also, if you look at um, the market value, Alex Texera is 12 million. Luka Jovic has a release fee of 17 million, but his market value is 19 million. Here's a player that I um, sifted out whilst going through the strategy, which was Asmoon. Uh, I've never heard of him, but his statistics look very good. And of course, as you can see, he's only 25 years old, so he could be a potential signing. Um, Soleimani, uh, possibly at 32. So these will be short term approaches for some of them, and possibly Rondon. That's their release fee, so I can go straight into it. You've got players like Petkovic, uh, Balotelli on a free, Alex Pato on a free. Uh, Hernandez used to play, I believe, for Hull, the Uruguayan. So, of course, you've got possible opportunities, Rafael Silva. It depends on, again, what type of um, player you're looking for and, of course, what team you're going with as well. So, that's one type of option. Then you've got the second strike as well. There was only Morega. Uh, and M. Philip uh, again looks a really good player, and he's a free transfer as well at 79. So imagine now you've got someone at 19 million, um, Musa Morega, where you could go with Matt, uh, M. Philip. I'm not sure what his first name is, etc. So then I'll go into the right wing forwards. Who could we possibly sign? So we're probably looking at someone like a Douglas Costa at 15 million. Uh, you've got Sarabia at 21 million. Uh, Coleman, as I said, whenever you play your Master League, you may be able to sell somebody for 15, 20 million, whatever, and then you put in a further 15, 20 million, and you can buy a player of such stature. Of course, um, he is very expensive, but we'll see what we can do there. Bernadeschi will probably be the one that we go for first as well. His release fee is 22 million, but then you've got other notable players such as Rafinha at 16, um, under at 17. Of course, uh, Triori, Shakiri, and even Daniel James, and many of these have proven experience. And of course, I've put in someone like Sammy Castillo, whose market value is 11 million, so you could possibly get him slightly above that. Januzaj, who used to play for Manchester United, a very good player again. Got some really good stats, as you can see. He's only worth 7.5 million. So there's lots and lots of players that you could possibly pick up. You've got someone like Anthony. And do check out Ajax, because they have some very, very good young players. He's 20 years old at 78. So, of course, you would expect someone like him to improve. Uh, these are left-wingers now we're getting into. So Dimitri Payet will probably be a player that we go for first. So as you can see, I'll probably end up looking to sign Dimitri Payet. And, of course... Uh, he hasn't come up yet, but we've got uh, someone like Patrick Clivert. You've got Bruno Henrique. He's a left wing forward. Now he's, again, Flamengo's another team, just like Ajax, to check out. Um, if I go to his market value, it's only four and a half million. 
So I reckon I could pick him up for, say, 8 to 9 million. Again, 82. Okay, he is 30 years old, but I think he'll be a good start. Of someone like Dimitri Payet, I know he's 33, but for one season, I think he could do really well. And you'll probably sell him off for and make half your money back. Again, someone like Tyson, uh, market value 7.2. I reckon you could probably pick him up for about 10 million. Boulder at 11 million seems to be a steal at 25 years old. So you've got lots and lots of really good players. Muniain uh, could be another one. Um, Money again, these are fairly cheap players and young players, as you can see. So, do have a look at that. I mean, Bailey looks like a really good one just because of his speed, pace, uh, and dribbling ability, and of course, being very young as well. So, for 26 million, that could be one. A uh, Canopoli Yankers, one that I'm possibly going to look to sign as well. Just think with his speed, acceleration, and again, dribbling ability, I think he could be a really good signer. But you have cheaper options like Sheriff, Cherry Chev. Uh, at 3 million. Uh, Wu Li is actually uh, a Chinese player, but he's actually a free transfer. So if I go into there, you'll see he's a free transfer straight from um, the offset. Uh, so you can um, look to, sorry, apologies, uh, purchase him. So I was going through there. And Justin Cliver is one that we're going to go for. He's a free transfer. So as you can see, at 21 years old, he'd be a steal. So that's the left wing forwards. Attacking midfielders, I'm just going to get straight into it. Of course, I'm a big fan of Chalinoglu. Of course, we already have someone like Messi Ozil and a few other players. But as I said, I mean, there's lots of players in our team that you will start off with. Uh, Saka, uh, Pepe. It depends what team you choose. Of course, you're not going to sign everybody. But my point being was if you really wanted to start from scratch, you could put some really good players together. But um, if I go back to release fee, uh, I'd go... Maybe to try and sign Challen Ugly just because uh, it's good for when you're playing YouTube or uploading videos on YouTube because his free kicks are the best that I've ever encountered. And of course, as you can see, he can play in every single position. So a bit of a utility man. Again, you've got someone like um, Ozil, 7 million at 83. And again, I'm playing the Fulham Master League and he's in his second season and he's still doing exceptionally well. Uh, and do check out the... Uh, previous episode there so Kabaya Remy Kabaya he used to play for Newcastle the French international he's 81 at 11 million uh, Le Chagic is another one that I would look at at eight and a half million 29 years old Harrit's one that we'd go for just because he's 23 years old um, and he's at 81 Paqueta uh, used to play for AC Milan I think Again, 23 years old um, at 18. I think mean, that's a really good still. I mean, you've got these two players. Goetze. Um, I think Mario Goetze used to play for Bristol Dortmund. Uh, German World Cup winner, in fact, scored the goal in the World Cup final. For 12 million, you get him for 80. So you've got a proven winner there. Pastori, the Argentine. He was the first big signer that Paris Saint-Germain made. 4 million. Uh, you can't go wrong for a 4 million player, of course. You can also play as a centre midfielder, left wing, right wing, forward. So, of course, um, do have a look at this. I'm just going to go further down and have a look at some of these players. Uh, Buda Booth would be one. Uh, the Algerian, again, some really good stats, as you can see there, as an attacking midfielder. Um, and could also play as a left midfielder, right midfielder, attacking. So, again, you would obviously go in there, the Moroccan uh, use of Belhanda, and do check out Galatasaray, because they do have some really, really good centre-backs, so there's lots of players um, that you, you oh, sorry, you could go through Rafinha, uh, the brother of Thiago at 7 million at 78, so you, you know, you've got some really good players there uh, if I go into the right wing forwards I'll probably look at somebody, I mean you've got some really, really good players, Almir and Moses, but the two that I would um probably go after are Zaracho and he's a free transfer so 22 year old player Zaracho uh, a right midfielder if you're looking for one um, 79 and of course you probably have him for two years so if I just go in transfer negotiation for Zaracho and he's got a good impression so of course at 79 you found yourself a still and of course uh, Miguel Almiron I'm a big fan of his uh, speed acceleration very good um, and again, I think he can play in a variety of positions. So for 14 million or so, you can't go wrong. Uh, the left midfielders that I'd probably go for, there aren't many. 
but Lamar at uh, 15 million or you could go with the cheaper option uh, of Vitolo at 8.3 but I think I'm going to go for Lamar just because he's slightly younger at 25 um, and I think he was a player that we purchased before of course you've got someone like Sharawi I'm a big fan of uh, his release fee is, I'm sorry, his market value is 10 million, so if you wanted a few more million over that, and of course you can negotiate, etc. Moving on to the centre midfielders, uh, Gwenduzi is on a free transfer there. But you've got lots of players that you could possibly purchase, so um, Idrissa Gay's one that we're going to go after, at, uh, just say 17 million. Why? I know he's 31, but uh, jump, stamina, and defensive awareness, ball winning aggression, so of course. Uh, he'd be a player that I'd look to approach. You've got Fred you could go for, Kondogbia, uh, Golovin, Ander Herrera, Draxler. I mean, these are really, really good players. Young as well, 27, uh, 24 for Golovin. McTominay's 24 at 81. Uh, I might look to sign Musa Sissoka. That might be a bit difficult just because of his stamina. And I think him and Idrissa Gay. 91 stamina and 91, I think, could be potentially good players to purchase. You've got Vicino, um, Herrera again, 89 stamina. The Mexican, I'm not sure if he's their captain now, but he used to be their captain. You've got Renato Sanchez, a young player at 23. McGinn's a good signing at 14 million. Decore is a cheap option. Flex, a really cheap option. He's a really good football player. I mean, if you've actually seen him live, you'll know. That he's a very, very good football player. Um, James Ward Prowse, I've put him on the 80 million, but his dead balls are absolutely out of. I mean, they're absolutely crazy. So, of course, um, again, another possible option there. Um, you've got Bonaventura. Uh, there is a player called McKenny that will shortly be coming up. Uh, Lima for Austria. I mean, uh, the RB Leipzig player, again. At 13 million, and of course, he's 23 years old. So, you've got lots and lots of players. I've looked at a few here, like Vorma, who plays for Club Bruges, Osdev. I mean, their market value is very low, so you can get some really good players, uh, fairly cheap. Um, again, Palacios is another good one. Of course, look, Gwenduzi's market value is 28 million. Of course, I know he's uh, on loan at Arsenal, but in the game, this is what we find. So, potentially, you could go straight in there. And um, 46,000, I think that's a steal, considering you'd be able to then sell him on for quite a lot of money. Palacios was another one at 22. Uh, I don't really know much about this player, but again, uh, I think if you look at his release fee, 14 million, I think that's not a bad signing. McKenny, I've heard a lot about this young man, uh, the uh, American at Juventus for... Um, um, how much? 18 million. So again, 22 years old. You could have him for another 10 years. You've got players like Lopez at 9 million. Uh, Danny Garcia. So again, not too old. 31. A uh, Traps one that I would recommend. A uh, very good player is he. And he, again, he can play multiple positions. Uh, a really good baller. And of course, if you're going to go for a free transfer, you've got someone like Benega in there. Uh, was playing for Sevilla. I'm not sure what's quite happened there. Um that you can go in and again you've got other players that you can just have a, a slightly um, uh, uh, lesser uh, overall rating. Um, Mahi is another good player, 2.8 million looks a good player and of course you've got these two youngsters, um, Obliakov, again same skill uh, as Jagowev and Jagowev is quite a good player as well so at 8 million. There's some really good players. So, um, quite a few there. Um, then we go into the defensive midfielders. And, of course, um, the one that we're looking to sign is Barrios. And I just want to compare and show you. He doesn't have a release fee, but he's 14.4 uh, million. And if I just go back into his stats, 87, 88, and 87 as defensive awareness, ball-winning aggression. And he's 27 years old. So, you imagine you have him until he's 32. That's 5 good years of him now of course his market value is 14 million however um, I reckon we could probably get him under 20 million so that's what we're going to look to do so that's a player I would probably advise and I just wanted to bring your attention to his compatriot Jefferson Nurma who's at 79 again a very good player but you can look at the stats um, 
76, 79, 82. Go to Barrios, and he's at 87, 88, uh, 87. Very similar age group. He's worth 20 million, and of course, at this moment, his market value is slightly lower at 14, but he'd be a good sign. I mean, you've got Torriera, for example, a really good player at 19 million. He is our player on loan, but if you're starting off, Baka Yoko's not a bad player as well. Um, Ilara Mendy, who plays for Sociedad, used to play for Real Madrid at eight, 9 million, you could say. Coquelin at 7 million. Gabriel Perez at 12 million. Uh, one that I want to sign is um, Pereira, so I think we're going to look to go for him. But you've got a couple of others uh, that you could possibly have. Um, Vian Villa, Stepanenko. Uh, Koopminder's not a bad one at 22 years old for 13 million, so he's a good player that we've seen. Uh, Sangare at 7 million, 23 years old. Um, just going to go down. There was one player, this player, Mark Rocker. Again, he's a Spanish player, plays for Bayern Mute. And Bayern Mute do have some really, really good young players. So for 24 years old, you can pick him up for 12 million. And I do expect him to uh, improve. And Campuzano was another one, the Colombian, played for Boca Juniors. 2 million release fee, uh, defensive midfielder at 78. So if you wanted to put together a, a player there. Uh, we then go on to the right backs, etc. And of course, um, as you can see, there's lots of players that you could possibly purchase. But if I was to go from the uh, straight from the starting point, I mean, Florenzi, Florenzi, I've put on the 82 at 10 million market value. So maybe 4 or 5 million more, you'd probably pick him up. But if I was starting off, I'd probably go with either... Danilo, uh, who's played at 13 million, so I know he's 29. You've got Dumfries at 24 for 15 and a half. Bender's not bad at 8 million, even though he's uh, 31. Dest would be a good investment. Uh, 19 million, but 20 years old. So he'd be one that I'd probably look at. Of course, you've got the Real Madrid uh, right back, uh, Odrio Zola. Vasako, we might look to sign. So maybe Vasako. Possibly Dumfries, Dest. Um, we'll probably look at. Oh, you've got Heisage, Hugo Marla, Decilio. Again, all within the bracket of five to six, seven million. Sakai uh, for Marseille. Bustos. This is a player that um, I quite like. And if I look at his stats, he'll be one that we're looking to sign. Okay, defensively not the best. Very small, but. Stamina is 87, and he's got good speed and acceleration, um, and I think he'll be a very good attacking outlet. So he's an offensive fullback. So this is a player that we look to sign. He plays for Independiente, um, so that's one that we would recommend. Um, you've got Zay Fouque, um at 22 at 79 million for just under 3 million. Damien's one that I like just because... Uh, he can play in a variety of positions uh, at 31. But as you can see, there's a, a lot of possible options. Um, and as I was saying, I mean, you've got Rafael. Uh, is, he, is he only 30 years old? Wow. Um, and his brother, uh, Fabio. So, uh, But I was talking about uh, Bayern Munich. I mean, there's a player called Saar who plays for France. He's 6.5 million. So, of course, Bayern Munich. And he's got 85 and 86 rated pace with stamina of 84. And defensive awareness is 71, and offensive awareness is 67. So, not a bad player. Then we go into the left backs. So, we'll be ending the episode just showing you players that you can possibly purchase. Look at, of course, you've got Marcelo at 11 million. So, if that's something you wanted as a short term option, Dini is slightly more expensive. Again, you've got Juan Bernat, um, a very good player. Emerson, 15, Espinazola. From Roma looks to be a good option at 13 million. Acuna, uh, 11 million. I mean, we're going to look to go for Fabra. So Fabra is going to be our uh, player that we look to go for 3 million. Again, the Colombian plays for Boca Juniors. Boca Juniors have actually got a decent team, so do check them out. I mean, if you're playing, uh, I know we, we're with Arsenal, so Kalasac is already our player. But for 10 million, I think he's a good player at 27 years old. Rodriguez at 80. 3 million, Firpo, 24 years old at Barca, so as you can see, you know, you've got a player who's 3 million, 
or even say three million again in Fabra and Rodriguez. And then you've got someone like Firpo who's 24, but they cost 12 million, a longer term option. And then Kurosawa at 28. Uh, I think he's a good a good left back that you could possibly have. Uh, moving on to the centre backs. So, uh, Klosterman. Uh, I mean, if you want an experienced centre back from the get go, possibly Boateng. Of course, you've got to be mindful of the salary budget that you have uh, that you're trying to put together. But, I mean, I'd go, uh, he'd be a good option that you could possibly bring in straight away. And don't be surprised if players are fairly old. I think they'll still do well on the game. Uh, just as they would in real life. I mean, Klosterman seems to be one, a good investment. Uh, similar to Kingsley Coleman, in that if you sell a player for 15, 20 million, you just put in 10 more million, you'll get a player such as him, so 24 years old. We've already purchased him for our Barcelona Mars League, but we will actually try to purchase him for this Arsenal Mars League. But before we do, let's just go into the other options that we have. So, Christensen at 22 million. 24 years old, so you'd probably have him for around 8 to 10 years. I think that would be a great investment. Short-term investments such as Kier uh, and possibly uh, Musaccio. Uh, as you can see, both for 80 million and around 7 million each. Uh, you've got Nacho, just under 9 million. Denai is a good option at 25 years old. Uh, check out Flamengo. Rodrigo Cal, 5.5 million at 81. Uh, looks to be a really good centre back, so he'd be a good option. Um, Sane is one that we'd probably go for just simply because of his heading and physical contact, and the fact that he's one one ninety six. So uh, I like to have players who are really good in the air. You got Bailly at twenty six years old, uh, slightly bit more expensive, but as you can see, you've got eighty one centre back at ten million, or five and a half million compared to one at eighteen million. Musaccio again, I think would be a good short term option. It's slightly smaller, but I uh, like his defensive awareness, 85, as good as they come, really. Uh, Bailly, again, I'm a big fan of Bailly. I like him. He's had some serious knee injuries. I like Samaru, and his market value is 4.5 million. So even though you wouldn't be able to find someone, this is someone with jump, 85, and physical contact, 90. So, of course, you've got that. Uh, you've got the French international place for Spartak Moscow, uh, Gigot. Daniel Vida, or oh, sorry, I'm not sure what his first name is, but Vida, uh, the Croatian, who did really well in the World Cup, uh, so he could be one. Nastasic, 27 years old at 80 to play for Manchester City. Here's one for you, a free transfer. Uh, Huides, uh I'm not sure, I, I do think he played for Bayern Munich, but I'm not really sure. But look, a free transfer at 32 years old, you can't really go wrong. Uh, Veltman, used to play for Ajax, is now at Brighton. Um... He's four and a half million market value if you're looking for a player of that. You've got Anderson, obviously, done really well at Fulham. Caldera, and do check out Atalanta. They've got some really good bargains. Uh, 10 million. I think he might be on loan from AC Milan, so I'm not sure if you can sign him. Uh, you've got Nkulo, uh, Spajic, the Serbian at Feyenoord, Delhi um, at Club Bruges. And just to show you Delhi, for example, I mean, again, 192 you got 188. Some, some really good centre-backs there. Company, again, on a free transfer as a short-term option and a couple of cheaper options there. you got me, says. Uh, Gustavo Enrique, again, from Flamengo. So is uh, Leo Pereira. So these are some of the players that you could possibly have. But I wanted to bring your attention, and again, another 78. But I want to bring your attention to these two players for Galatasaray at 78. 24 and 26. Um... They look like some really good promising players you could possibly purchase. But again, it depends on what you want to try and achieve. And then we get into the goalkeepers. Now look, I've got a fantastic goalkeeper in Bernd Lino. Uh, it would be silly to sell him. But what I'm just uh, trying to bring to your attention is that you can get cheaper players um, if you're starting out. So just say, for example, you're not at a club that has a really good goalkeeper. You've got someone like a summer uh, He's 32 years old, fair enough, but he's 84. 11 million, 12 million, and potentially uh, he could be an option for two years. And of course, while you have him, you could probably look at a cheaper option. So you've got Sillison, uh, Paul Lopez at 26 uh, will only get better. Neto at 31 for 8 million. I like Ruli. Again, similar stats to um, the rest of them, but 5 million. So again, uh, at 28 years old. Uh, Dean Henderson at 18, but he's 23 years old. 
Um, this keeper, Lafont, uh, most of you have been mentioning him, and someone did mention him in the uh, comments on one of the episodes so at 80. If you want a cheaper option, you go for Volpe, uh, two, just under two and a half million. Um, you've got a, a French keeper at 23, who's 79 at 8 million. Nubel, and I did say about Bayern Munich, so you could purchase Nubel at 7 million and Jan Summer or even uh, Sillison. And for 20 million, you've got two goalkeepers that are last you for four five years. So um, you can choose. Uh, I like Dragos uh, Dragoski's bed, so maybe he could be one that we possibly purchase. Again, uh, Aduero uh, at 78. Another 78 goalkeeper, Pat Pad. Uh, at 1.5 so again depends on what you're looking at and a store so there's quite a few and if you wanted a short term one again you could go for super switch at 78 i mean he wouldn't be a bad option for one season and that's it essentially um just quickly before i end the episode i just want to check one thing uh, you may also find ryan sessignon as a free transfer i didn't actually check uh, so, yeah, look, Ryan Sessegnon is a free transfer at 75, 20 years old. So he would be one that you could add to your list of players. Um, in terms, of, And do check through the free transfers. And lastly, one that I would suggest to a lot of players um, that who are playing Mast League. And if you do check out the Fulham Mast League... Um, sorry, not the Fulham Mars League. Uh, if you do check out um, the Fulham Mars League that I'm playing, um, do have a look at Hamza Chowdhury. Uh, even though his stats are such that um, he isn't in terms of uh, the highest in terms of stats, 75, but his, um, his performances for us have been very good. Uh, 23 years old. And if I just look at his release fee, you'd pick him up for 6.4 million. Uh, so 6.5 million. And he would be one that I personally recommend just because um, I've played with him and he actually has done well. Um, and we bought him and Messi Ozo for literally just under 12, 13 million. And they were the two instrumental players in helping us get to the position that we do. So we got to eight. So that, that would be that. So what we'll do is... Uh, that will be the end of the episode. Uh, hopefully it's not too long. But what we'll do is we'll then go into our team. And I've already done this. We will transfer list everybody. And then what I plan to do is, as you can see, everybody's been transfer listed. But, I mean, as I said, look, someone like Bert Leno, um, I'm just trying to look at his age, 28 years old. And he's rated at 86. I mean, you wouldn't sell him. But my point and the whole purpose of this series is to help people maybe show them that you can actually put together a really really good mass league team on a budget um i've already alluded to the fact that you've got so many center backs so you could sell many of those and just to try and get uh, players in the team that would do really really well so we'll end the episode here though um do join us for this series uh, thank you for your support once again really really appreciate it um, and I hope this was helpful. Please do let me know in the comment section whether you found this beneficial. Um, as I said, uh, I don't really do much editing, which is something that I should do. But we're new to YouTube, so we're still within the first year. So uh, we'll see how this goes. But um, thank you for your support. I mean, we've got over just under 18,000 views, lots of watch hours and lots of subscribers. So we've achieved more than we thought we would do when we first set out. So I really want to thank all of you the super heavyweight fans and remember we're changing the game and taking over